Michael Douglas is in the entertainment spotlight for his new film. And Barry Zavan, our entertainment editor, is here with that story. Now this, Barry, sounds like my kind of movie. It is fantastic, and everybody should fasten their seatbelts and get ready to soar to new heights of entertainment excellence. The vehicle that will take you there is Romancing the Stone. The minimum price for taking a stranded woman to a telephone is $400. 375 in traveler's checks? Not a deal. A famous romance novel writer goes to South America to save her kidnapped sister. The ransom she carries is a map which leads to buried treasure, an emerald the size of a Buick. Well, almost. The tenderfoot becomes excess baggage to an American who befriends her. He decides to unload some of that baggage. Okay, let's make some time. You And that's only the beginning. The adventures See they encounter like consistently throughout the film offer countless surprises from the very beginning to the very end. Which way do we go? Follow that stone. Good advice. Anyone who follows that stone will have the time of their lives. Day before yesterday in Chicago, I asked Michael Douglas about his departure from heavy drama to comedy. I mean, that's me. I'm a very sick young man. I can't... <laughs> I can't help that. Romancing the Stone was a five and a half year project for Douglas, who is also the film's producer. The romance has been an exhausting one. I believe me, Barry, after, um, after Romancing the Stone opens, I'm going to take a nice long vacation. A couple of years? A couple of years if I can afford it, believe me. This is Kathleen Turner's third film following roles in Body Heat and The Man with Two Brains. She told me that the entire cast enjoyed the mischief of Romancing the Stone. We're all kind of sick sometimes, you know, so it was really fun. <laughs> And that totally describes it. Really fun. The most I've had in years. Actor Danny DeVito has some brilliant moments, and director Robert Zemeckis has created near perfection, counterbalancing high adventure and high comedy. There is not only a surprise ending, but also a surprise beginning. This is a major, important film for anyone who really wants to escape and have genuine fun at a movie. It's as though your eyebrows are going to get some exercise tonight. Oh, boy, lots. Yeah, three million. All the way. Yeah, I can't All wait right. to see it again. Okay, thanks, Bert. You bet. Nearly... It's Friday, and as always, there are plenty of movies to check up on, and entertainment editor Barry Zvan is here with his quickies. I'll try and get quick, them quick, quick. quickly. <laughs> There's so much to see on Twin Cities screens this weekend that you'd have to start this evening and go nonstop through Sunday night to catch it all. Most of it worthwhile. In addition to three eyebrow winners like Splash, Footloose, Terms of Endearment, and The Dresser, there are some new entries which could knock your socks off. Here are some of them. What's your name? Uh, uh, I'm Jojo. Wilder! Joan Wilder! Welcome to Columbia! And welcome to one of the most brilliantly conceived romantic comedy adventures ever, as Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, and Danny DeVito take you on a high-energy search for treasures through the jungles of South America. Romancing the Stone will have you on the edge of your seat from the surprise beginning to the surprise ending. It rates three big eyebrow wiggles, the best rating we give. Please welcome Spinal Tap. Including the Dick Clark imitation, another three eyebrower is This Is Spinal Tap, a mostly ad lib but reverent spoof of British 60s rock groups featuring Rob Reiner as one of the fertile minds behind this satire. It'll delight all Beatles, Stones, and Herman's Hermits fans. Oh, Dad. Dad's, uh. Dad's going fishing. Fishing? Yeah. On Christmas Eve? Yeah. At night? This is the sort of banter that makes Racing with the Moon a warm and charming film. It traces the romance of a poor boy and rich girl in the early days of World War II prior to the boy's entry into the armed forces. It's a must for 40s nostalgia buffs and anyone who's ever been in love. Three big eyebrows for this one, too. Uh, oh, please, mister. Uh, I, now bring I my didn't... son out. Don't be cute. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood, too, about this film. It could have been more, but James Garner underplays his role as a likable army sergeant bent on rescuing his son from unjustified imprisonment in a small southern jail. Shirley Jones swearing? You'll hear it in Tank, and you'll see only two eyebrows for this one. Not to be overlooked is a tender father-son relationship in Misunderstood, starring Gene Hackman and Henry Thomas of E.T. fame. 
This is a 10 Kleenex box movie. Rip Torn is also excellent in this film for every parent who doesn't have time for the kids. The Minneapolis Institute of Arts, by the way, is showing unusual but excellent examples of independent filmmakers' works through April worth checking out. And now it's time for me to check out for this week, except to say The Police Academy, another funny one, is uh, written, co-written by Pat Prof from Minneapolis. A Minneapolitan. You okay, bet. Okay, and go see that too? Oh, definitely. Thank That's you, Bert. In 